five. That's big news. We don't have Kamala Harris here, but we do have Anthony Coper with a live look at your Sunday morning forecast. Again, it feels like fall. We're going to gain an hour of sleep. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. Can you add more to the list? Extra hours of sleep. It's Sunday, my favorite day of the week because I'm off. But hey, I mean, things are looking nice. <laughs> things are looking great. And if you remember last Sunday, how nice that was, I believe we're going to have a repeat forecast. High pressure is rolling right on top of the north coast. Clear skies, calm winds. I mentioned it earlier. Perfect, perfect combination. Perfect ingredients for us to see those temperatures to continue to drop. Right now, we're in the mid to low 40s, and temperatures going to get closer to the freezing mark. Meanwhile, off to the west, a different story. Notice the clockwise flow behind this high. We're going to be on the west side of this come tomorrow afternoon. 60s off to the west, Kansas City, St. Louis. This air mass will be flowing in our direction, and that's going to be the overarching headline as we approach Election Day. So to finish off your weekend plans, if you Thought today was a little bit too chilly, which is seasonal. We're going to start off on a chilly side, but wow, these temperatures are really going to jump right back up there. 36 tonight, mostly clear. Some of us waking up to some frost, a little bit of freeze, especially outside of the metro. By the afternoon, this is a 1 o'clock uh, kickoff. L.A. charges in town, mostly sunny conditions, all thanks to that high pressure hanging out, keeping our skies on the clear side. 60 degrees by the time we approach 1 o'clock. Overall, we should hit a high somewhere in the mid-60s. I'm calling high of 64 degrees with your National Design Mart hourly forecast. Around noon, we're in the upper 50s, 63 around 3 and 4 o'clock. Sunny skies, wall-to-wall -wall bright skies all throughout your daylight hours. Remember, sunset. A little bit closer to 5 o'clock for tomorrow evening, so get prepared for that. Nights are getting longer. Let's start the clock at tomorrow afternoon. Check out the southeast winds. Now, they're going to be picking up as we wrap up your Sunday night into early Monday morning. As a matter of fact, this is midnight Monday, upper 40s, low 50s, and we're not going to be cooling off all that much because the south winds are going to keep things pretty mild. Gust around 30. This is daybreak Monday morning, so a bit of a blustery start. And the winds will take control. Now we're talking about just a south wind come Monday afternoon with temperatures in the upper 60s, low 70s. That's going to set us up to potentially see record warmth come Election Day. Winds are going to remain on the stronger side. Then we're talking about showers with our next inbound front. Speaking of which, here's a preview of your Election Day forecast. 60s, 70s, gusts around 30 to 35 miles an hour. Remember the polls close at 7.30 the Tuesday evening. Here comes the cold front. South winds in play. This is Tuesday throughout the day, Tuesday afternoon. Check out the ISO bars. Really blustery conditions working in. Cold front slides in late Tuesday and Wednesday. This is going to be our biggest opportunity to pick up on widespread showers with your new home markets. 10 day outlook shows the showers Tuesday night, Wednesday temperatures slide down into the 60s, upper 50s. That's the coolest afternoon for next week. Warming, warming back up into the 60s, upper 60s by next weekend.